seneta wenzangu serikali na wakulima hili ni jambo la kusikitisha sana ambapo sisi serikali ya Kenya kwanza tulizunguka huko nchini tukawaahidi wakulima tena tukasema tutajaribu kupigana na food insecurity chini ya uongozi wake William Ruto akaleta subsidized fertilizers njambo la kukela roho na kusikitisha ni kuona maafisa wanayofanya katika wizara ya kilimo wamekuwa wamehusika wamepanga mpango wa kulagai wakulima and we want to say with no unmistakable words it is time that we expect the ps agriculture now that fake fertilizer has been sold to farmers and we know that the lazies have set on what we expect him to do with the immediate effect is to give the farmers the right fertilizers so that they can plant on time jambo la hili tunasema kila mtu ambaye amehusika there are no sacred cows in this government we owe it to the people of kenya and we must ensure that our people the people who are farmers and i come from nyeri county which is basically farming sisi wangu wametoka kirinyaga mundiki faisti ametoka hapo hao wote ni wakulima kwa mweza mwezangu hapa ametoka bungoma pia ni wakulima lazima tuhakikishe wale watu wote ambao wamepata hii fertilizer bushi they've been compensated not with money but with the right fertilizer immediately and i want to request our speaker the speaker of the senate he should convene the house so that we can now devolve the money to the county government so that the county government can be able to, to distribute the fertilizer to their constituencies because fertilizer eh, family agriculture is a default function la mwisho kabisa raisi alisema mambo ni matatu na sana sana nataka kusikiliza leo jambo la tatu hapo watu ambao wanalagai wakulima they must be treated like economic saboteurs and they must face the full force of law and the highest penalty that is life imprisonment ile ambaye inapitishwa yule mtu ambaye ni mwasi kwa haya mashashi na mengi mwenyekiti nikushukuru sana kwa hii kamati ya kilimo umeiendesha vizuri na sana sana kutetea wakulima sisi tusipopata haki ya hao wakulima utakuwa viongozi ambao hawana maana seneta mundigi asante sana ulisema lazima kuje embu ndio watu wa wakulima wa embu wa kirinyaga waweze kusema vile wananyanyaswa na hii fertilizer bush sisi tunataka kumwambia rais we know you are doing well but the people are failing you and they are failing you big time it is the high time you call them to order because if you don't do your mr president these people will make, will make sure that you will never be reelected in this country and some of these people mr president they never i search for food for you how to pick your food wale ka pale tukatafuta kula wanakuja kuharibu serikali na mipango ya serikali this is economic sabotage asante sana nimesomoneka sana mjikisi ndipo kwa laikipia nadhani kwamba ni masaimu ya watu wa laikipia Jumamosi ikiwa katika shughuli zangu kule Bogoma ajira ya saa sita hivi napata sisi kumwambia na jinsi hawa anasema bodei ileto Jumapili yangu ya Bogoma ileto Jumamosi mchana ofisa maafisa wa serikali ya wako wepo hakuna wa kudhibitisha mahadali wa mbele na nilichoona ni cha kusikitisha leo niko hapa nimesafiri kutoka asubuhi na hata nimeshangaa na mshangao kwa sababu huenda kule kule nilikuwa kokoto hiki ni kinyesi cha mbusi punda na mifugo mbali na zaidi ya yote mkojo ambao uko hapa mwenyekiti kwa mkojo wa kuomba mwiko we will not accept this hatuwezi kubali na kila mara tunasema viongozi wa serikali wengine wanapinga na mimi husema facts you can't hide facts you can't hide facts ukweli uweze wekwa chini ya meza utadhirika mchana na naomba kwa sababu wa Kenya wanakutazama sasa tutafika pembe zote za Kenya wanaohusika ulagai wa Kenya mbolea la pesa zao lazima ukamatwe na mwenyekiti unajua tunapata haya mambo hatujaona kidiki akishika mke 
Hatujaona duani alishika mtu. Hatujaona serikali ikikamata mtu. We must come to and close these cases. Ama namna gani watu wetu? Kama nyinyi mlienda kwa chief, muka report. Mukachukua OB wale watu waliohusia hawajaandika statement hawajakamatwa what kind of country are we staying in what kind of leaders do we elect this thing must come to an end mshumwa mbingi thank you very much we must deal with these corrupt people once and for all na ukulima umegatuliwa agriculture is devolved bona tu itugarimu senators nda huu wote tuje hapa na kamati za counties hazijakutana na wakulima. Mawaziri wa ukulima hawajakutana na wakulima. Baadhi ya magavana wamenyamaza. We must deal with this problem. Ama namna gani watu wetu? Yes. Sisi tunapigana kuleta pesa ikuje kwa counties. Wakulima wako kwa counties. Wana nyinyi ndio mnalipa ushuru kwa counties. Where are they? So we are looking for a chance as we squeeze the national government to account for what they are paying or giving the farmers through the national cereals and produce board the county governments that have extension officers agricultural directors must also be told to either ship up or rise up mimi sai kwenda mengi nataka kwenda huko cereal kwa sababu hao ndio sasa wameonekana ni limbo wa wakora kulagai wakulima ambao hawaelewi gharama ama uhalali wa mbolea uh, membo za mbolea hawajui sasa wanaleta sasa mbuzi wanaambia watu hii inaonekana inanuka it's very concentrated kumbe ni mkonjo wa mbuzi so watu wetu wa embu kirinyaga you can count on the agriculture committee of the senate na tutaogopa kama ni nituri mimi nimemwambia na wengine wote kwa hiyo ministry ya agriculture we will come for you it doesn't matter how related you are to the presidency how entrenched you are in this government the bible says give caesar what belongs to caesar and to god what belongs to god na mrefu ileka wapi na kwa nini wale wanaohusika wapo jua kitu la mbolea inafikia mkuu wetu kuna wengine wamejaribu kusema hakuna jambo kama hilo lakini punda ni punda hata ukiuza punda kama 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 ngombe utakapo kupeleka sokoni saa ikifika saa sita atapiga atapiga atatoa mlio wa kuna kwamba fertilizer ilikuja kama fertilizer na ni wazi kwamba ilikuwa ni bush na sasa mpatio maana tuko hapo na kwa sababu watu ungeweza kwenda county zote mbili juzi tulikuwa mwe tukao ni vizuri tukuje hebu kwa sababu pia naibu mwenyekiti alisema kama tuki hebu tutakuwa na shida na unajua mwenyekiti katika kamati ya kilimo seneti anachaguliwa na maseneti usiposikiza tape tape tunaweza pia ukangolewa kwa hivyo nikamwambia utakuja huko na ndio nikawalika pia kulima kutoka Kirinyaga na wale ambao wanataka tuweze kuangalia hili jambo. Nadhani ile jambo tuko nalo kubwa ni kwa Bush. Na ndio maana tumekuja na mpaka sambuli ambazo tutafutwa tutabeba siku ya leo. Jambo lingine katika mazuri na nafaka kuna kama linga jambo alilipia mbolea ya ruzuku mwaka wa Novemba mwaka uliopita. Gunia ya moja mia moja toka walipe. Hawaje wale kwa mbolea na ndio maana tunasema tunapotembelea makala ya mashauri na nafaka hii kwa hapa hapo naisha tunaenda kufuatilia kwa sababu pesa ya mkulima haifai kupotea hii kwa sababu mkulima amelima shamba mkulima amenunua mbolea hata kama ni ya ruzuku mkulima amepoteza nafasi ya kuweka pesa mfukoni kwa sababu amepewa mbolea ya nigushi lazima kuwe kuna mtu ambaye atawakimbika kwa maneno haya ama sina namna hiyo kwa hivyo siku ya leo hiyo ndio imetuleta hapa unapopewa nafasi ya kuongea kwa sababu hatuwezi ongea sote tutasimama kuseme ile mbolea ulichukua ndio hii na nani uko na jumbe fupi ambapo ulitumia katika mashauri ya nafaka ili kulipia ile mbolea vizuri uwe nazo tuko na karani hapa hakikisha kwamba umepeana hiyo pesa yenye ulipia ulipeana hiyo kwa sababu hatumalizi hapa sisi kama kamati ya seneti tunasema inafaa mkulima arudishe pesa yake mapema mapema mambo mengine tuongee lakini pia natoa tahadhari kwa wale ambao walifanya injama. Kwa sababu usema ukitaka kujua chochoro kula na uni. Washa kula na uni. Lazima atembezi wa kile chochoro siku yake. Mahali kuna mimba, mahali kuna matofu. Hakuna kukwepa. Kama mtu amekula ambao si haki yake mpaka atakapishwa. Hiyo mpaka itafanyika.
Mimi ningeomba tu rais kwa sababu tumeanza uchunguzi. Na kamati ya ukulima imekwaita wale wa usika wote ambao wanasimamia mbolea na wale wanasimamia wanauza mbolea. Watakapoenda kumulilia na waachane nao sisi tupambane na hao watu mtu kwa mtu. Kama namna gani? Mtu akija kulia kwa kulimpatia kazi. Usi sisi hatujali kama hadhi, hatujali dini, hatujali kabila, hatujali kambaka. Kama wewe umefanya mpango mzuri kama ukaingia ndoa lazima tukuje tukushughulikie vilivyo ama sio na kwa hivyo mimi nikitoka hapa tukiwa na kamati nzima ya seneti tunaondoka hapa tukisema akulima amesema wanataka mbolea inbao inafaa mara moja kweli si kweli kweli tumesema mbolea iletwe mara moja ambayo inafaa watu wapande na kama mbolea hakuna wakuje tayari na manoto urudishie kila mkulima pesa hapa sio atajua vile atajipanga lakini ningemomba jambo moja ni kwamba waswahili husema ndoa moja aliachia aliachi mke. Bibi yako akosea mara moja uweze kumfukuza. Hii ni jambo limetokea. Na niko na hapo kwamba si rais wetu au serikali yake ilipanga hii maneno. Lakini tunajua kilichotokea. Na ndio hapi anaomba nadhani wakati umefika pesa ambazo zinatumika katika ununuzi wa mambolea iweze kurejeshwa kwa serikali za kaunti. Ili kama kuna makosa wakulima ajua anaenda wapi. Kwa sababu kama venye mmesema kidogo kuna disconnect mkulima kwa sababu mkulima mtu wa kwanza kupata ni MCA kwa sababu mkulima umekatuliwa kama kuna shinda mtu wa kwanza kupata ni MCA kwa sababu ingejulikana mapemba timba ingekuwa iko sawa si ndio kwa hivyo kwa hiyo mengi mengi na machache ni kusema ya kwamba sisi hatuko hapa kupaka punda rani tuko hapa kwa sababu tunataka kutatua kwa hamwezi lia kwa shida zenu na sisi viongozi tulie na mlifuchagua lazima tutafute suluhu huo ndio uongozi kwa hivyo sisi tukitoka hapa hatuendi kulia hatuendi kupembelezana hatuendi kupapasa wanaume madevu tunaenda kutafuta shuruhu ya mkulima ambaye ameumia kwa hivyo hii mimi kama mwenyekiti wa kamati hiyo ndio ningeweza kumwambia siku ya leo asante sana ni DCC madam sio wako palete wako hapa na sisi eh siku ya leo najua CC alikuwa anakuja lakini vizuri kumwa kwa sababu umewakilisha sisi tunapoenda baada ya kuwakilisha tunataka pesa iongezwe muweze kununua bolea ifikie mkulima ajue ataenda kwa gavana kama mbolea ni mbovu kuliko kwenda kutapatapa tafuta ni nani ataambia kwa sababu hatutaki mambo ya ya mbolea pia tunaenda tunachukua chifu tunatenda kuzungua DCC ambao hawakuhusika kama katika ununuzi wa bidhaa hao ni watu tofauti walifanya hiyo kazi kwa hivyo sisi tutamalizia hapo na tuseme ya kwamba tuko na nyinyi tumaliza wiki tarehe kumi tunataka tuigwe hizo wale wahusika wako kwa sababu kuna wahusika wako na kuna wahusika wapachikwa wahusika wako ni wale ambao wanahusika katika mambo ya kununua na kuhakikisha kwamba bidhaa ina 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 kusikia kulima wale wa kupachikwa ndio wameharibu hii maneno na unajua wakati mambo kama hii yanafanyika lazima tutue na jukumu ama sio najua sasa hii usema kibembacho kikivunja na vuka mchukuzi kama ndio unasimamia halmashauri ya nafaka mambo ikiharibika wewe lazima uwe na jukumu na kwamba kwa sababu kimevunja umefanya wachukuzi wafaidike wa wewe ulikuwa unafanya kazi kazi kwa hivyo lazima so tutaita wazimu wa kilimo tumeita wale halmashauri ya udhabiti wa bidhaa kems Tumeita Kenya National Trading Corporation, Mbeka Miano, Zidu, Wathre, Manyo KNTC. Tumeita tatu ya vyombo vya usalama ndio tujue ni vipi. Lakini la msingi na mkulima amesema kabla hatujaenda kukopa zaidi tulipe ndani ya matarajio ambayo wakulima walichukua ambayo ilikuwa sana. Kwa kuwapatia mbolea ambayo ni bora ama kuwarejeshia pesa yao kwa sababu ya msingi na somo. Alisema kwamba huu ni ugaidi wakati unanyima mkulima nafasi ya kulima na kuweka pesa mfukoni sio ni ugaini hakuna ugaini mkubwa kushinda huko kwa sababu gaundi mkubwa unaanzanga na kufanya wakulima wawe na jambo wawe ukiguza tumbo ya mkulima hiyo ni kusema hiyo ni ugaini kushinda yule mtu na huyo anaoa mtu mwingine kwa hivyo sisi tuko hapo na tunasema lazima haki itendeke sisi wakati tuliingia pale senate tumefanya kazi usiku na mchana kwa sababu tunajua uh, kilimo ndio ndawa ya binadamu. Na siku hizi kilimo ni hadi percent jifoti in county government county 47 na mambo ya kilimo haina mtoto siku hizi 
aina mwanafunzi aina mama mzee ana hata wale watu wamelitaya kwa sababu mtu yoyote mpaka akule kazi imekosekana katika Kenya dunia nzima na watu wote wamekubali kwenda kulima nikumbusha nyinyi e, mwaka uliopita unajua sida ambazo tulikuwa nazo kulikuwa na janga la jaa mambo mengi mpaka kama na maandamano lakini katika Kenya Mungu akasikia kilio ya watu wote wale wanaomba Mungu wakubwa na wadogo hata Kristen unajua hata maoni na wakati maoni ilikuja mvua ilikuja kwa sababu kulikuwa na sida nyingi lakini wakati mvua ilikuja pia serikali ya Kenya kwanza ya rais wetu eh, ambaye yule Ruto na deputy wake wakakaa pamoja wakasikia kilio ya wakenya pia nimekukusha nyinyi mimi ni mimi mmoja wa wale walisoma statement ambaye wataraisa mkulima apelekwe mpaka masidani na ilikuwa toka 1600 na 500 na rais kama studio barua na alikuwa na maono na alikuwa vile anataka kusaidia mkulima akalete bataraisa mpaka masidani wakaungana pamoja na gavana na bataraisa ikawa inatoka 2500 ingine ni mambo ya mbegu pia hiyo nilisoma statement na pia nikasikia hata hiyo mbegu iko na shida kwa hiyo nataka kushukuru serikali ya Kenya kwanza na ninashukuru magovernors wale walisikia kilio baadaye saikao imeenda masinani lakini shida ile tuko nayo ni wakora wewe ambaye hawafikiri mambo ya familia zile zingine hawafikiri magonjwa hawafikiri tutakaa na kuna gani kwa sababu hawa walipatiwa kazi ambaye wengi wao tumekuja kukutua wengine hata kusagua serikali ya Kenya kwanza wengine niwezi kabisa kwa sababu kitu ilikuwa inatengenezwa kwa kipindi ya miaka mbili kwa nini saa hii hiyo factory sawa imebadilisha kuanisha kutengeneza factory sawa nzuri ikaanza kutengeneza factory sawa mbaya kwa hiyo na, naomba serikali ya Kenya kwanza yende iangalie mambo ya security waelewe wapeleke kwa team na pia waweze kuwekwa njera ndio wananchi hawaweze kuwa na ukweli kwa sababu watu wameumia watu wale na chochote na serikali ya Kenya kwanza inasema pesa mfukoni itakuwa ni pesa mfukoni lakini waletea watu mambo ya ngombe mambo ya mbuzi na pia vitu vingine unakuta ni shida kwa hiyo nataka kuuliza serikali ya Kenya kwanza wazunguze kabisa mambo ya intelligence security kama ni secretary wale wengine waokoe pamoja wale watu wa SPP kwa sababu inakuwa inapatiwa hiyo bio wewe unaleta bataraisa lakini wewe unapatiwa wesi alafu watu wa wesi wanaleta vitu hivi hapai kwa hiyo naomba serikali iweze kuangalia maneno na ninashukuru sana kwa ile kazi tunafanya nikiambia wakulima wa hapa leo ni kwa kifikiri ni kama mzazi tu lakini nione account yangu na account ya ndugu yangu ambaye sisi mbaye mbaye si hapasa ni agriculture na atilia na zile zingine hata ndio imekuwa na shida kuliko kaunti zile zingine na sasa hiyo tunasema kaunti yetu ile ambaye kaunti Kenya kilimo ndio kila kitu ndio tuweze kuinua usumi wetu kwa kaunti zile zingine kwa hivyo naomba serikali itusaidie mwananchi kule amepatiwa fadhaisa mbaya amshie pesa zake ama apatie fadhaisa ile ndio baa hiyo ingine ya mwisho ni kaunti kama wetu mkanga na tulipitia kwa kwenye recess tulipitiza pesa kama hebu kwa tulipatia milioni 100 kwa hiyo wasikuye pesa wananchi aletwe bataisa yaweza kulima kwa sababu tuwe na kilimo bora kutoka hebu kaunti mimi ni mkulima wa kitambo na mimi nilipata message ya kuendea bataisa kwa CDO board hapo hebu ilikuwa tarehe 15 march ndio niliendea na nikaenda na nikapata bataraisa yangu ilikuwa mbali nane nikalipa 20k na transaction ya 500 nikaenda na bataraisa yangu nyumbani nikakaa tu kwa muda mkuu ikanyesha nikaenda kufungua bataraisa yangu nikaweke kwa shamba kufungua tu hivyo niko na evidence iko pale nje kufungua ilikuwa ni mbolea iko na mavi ya mbuzi iko na mawe iko na manyoya nikashindwa nifanye nini nikakaa ndio nikapiga report kwa chief akaniambia niende si yakako akaniambia niende nikapiga report kwa ndisi yae na nimeshaenda na nikapata ombi mimi alafu nikaambiwa nijamaza tu kae tukae 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 ndio tukakaa sasa nikashindwa nifanye nini mbole yangu iko nyumbani sijaitumia bado alafu sasa mimi kama mkulima nikashindwa nitafanya nini sasa yangu sio mengi naomba tu serikali isikie kilio ya mkulima 
ndio tuko na shinda na tumeumia sasa kama 20k kupata mara nyingine nikaweka kwa mahindi mimi nimeumia na mimi ni maskini mimi si mimi ni yule hasra hata kupata 20k ni shinda kwangu sina mengi tunga wabariki eh january this year we decided to go for the remainder because to be only me kaka na tukaenda tukachukua hiyo mifuko ya moja mia moja na themanini lakini tukasema kabla ya kuchukua tutachukua sampo tupeleke kwa serikali ipimwe kwa hivyo ile maneno naongea hapa mimi naongea maneno ya pimo kwa serikali na tukachukua fertilizer tukanunua mifuko ine ili iende ipimwe hiyo fertilizer ilikuwa eh ile maadishi yake ilikuwa 10.2910 that is nitrogen 10% uh, phosphorus 20, uh, 29% na K potassium 10% tukapeleka ofisi ya serikali wale wanapima fertilizer wanaitwa National Agriculture Research Laboratories na tukapeleka huko kwa hivyo ile maneno tunaongea hapa ni technical na tukapatiwa result result yake ilikuwa nitrogen badala ya 10 ilikuwa 7 phosphorus badala ya 29 ilikuwa 3.6 na potassium badala ya 10 ilikuwa 7.26 kwa hivyo we declined to buy the fertilizer because the analysis has proved Uh, that uh, especially p was only 3.6 instead of 29 and that is why we are here to say that uh, this problem started much earlier this problem is a problem at this time even by january we had fertilizer that we could not get of now ncpb is still holding our 1108 bags which is yet to be delivered Thank you. I have the analytical report. Yes. Kama jina naitwa Susan Mwangoi, nimetoka Kirinyaga, mali nimeitwa Kikosi. Niko hapa juu nilipewa fertilizer huko Sagana kwa series. Na wakati nilikuja na hiyo wakati ndio ndio kuchukua hiyo fertilizer nimechukua kwa 3 days watu watu walikuwa wengi sana kuchukua hiyo fertilizer. Wakati nilifika nyumbani kaiweka. Wakati mvua ilinyesha, nilienda kutoa fertilizer ndio nipande. Lakini wakati nilienda kupanda nilisikia kwa radio, watu wanasema ati kuna fertilizer iko na na na, 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 na hii mapi ya nini? Ya, ya, ya buzi. Kwa hiyo nikasema wacha niangalie kwanza yangu kama iko ama hiyo kwenda kufungua nikakuta hiyo yangu sio mavi lakini iko na mawe ilikuwa inaitwa ni mavuno na iko pale pale iko pale nje nilikuwa nimenunua mifuko miwili kuweka kwa maji haifujiki hai inakaa ni mawe peke yake kwa hivyo si kupanda na hiyo nikasema sijui sasa nitafanya nini nikashurika nikajua vile nitafanya na ndio nilienda nikanunua mahali pengine nikapanda na hiyo lakini ile nilichukua iko pale nje. Hata mimi nilinunua hiyo fertilizer kwa Siri Bot. Na hiyo fertilizer nikafunua nika nikaona si mzuri. Ilikuwa na mazi ya buzi na ilikuwa na manyoa na mawe. So nika nikaonelea bila nikasikia habari ya hiyo fertilizer nikaona ni fertilizer mbaya hata inaweza ikasaidia kwa shamba nika lakini nilishindwa ni, ni, nifanye ni nini kwa hivyo nilipeleka tu kwa shamba na nikasema nipande nayo nione kama itakuwa mzuri juu siku na otherwise lakini nimekuja na kidogo na hiyo sasa mlima wa Morindoko Kirinyaga county a utaniruhusu niadresa kimishi hizo wanachama wasiabu bidhaa kwa kwanza 
I could not buy the fertilizer using my details because the system Kule, they are not identifying me using my ID number, they are identifying me using a phone number which was used by another farmer to register himself. So me nikituma to trigger that message ya kuambia farmer kujia fertilizer, inenda to somebody called Timothy Ndego Mwangi. My name is David Mwangi Karatai. When I talk to the manager, I can be, there's no way she can be able to get deeper in the system on a, who is now receiving my message. So what she advised me was to look for a farmer whom I can use. When you come up on a location, you have about 10 bucks. You have come on a site, you have a and you have access to me. So that's what I did. The tragedy number two, when I looked for that farmer, Ah, uh, to Kenya, ni kama kia pesa kwa simu yangu, kama kia kwa kamtia kwa, tu mi ya gari yangu, kwenye a fertilizer na kwa bodi kwa. Makuti na tu kwa kwa nyumba vizuri. Wakati yali na kupanda, jasa sa ni pia simu kana mbia David kujenga wone kwenye ni naona. Abona sisi, it took me five days to bring the media, and you tukona kapa pande ya kinyaga, because nobody could believe that kuna fertilizer iko na mabia mbuzi. It's like, it's like telling somebody there's a, a blue sugar somewhere that is also good. So it took me about five days to convince the Royal Media Services to come and see what we were seeing. And I'm glad that you need their food. So, back again to the system, could either USSD could yeah, confirm whether you are registered as a farmer, either the star 616. When I click on that one, in an MBA, I'm duly registered. So the manager and Amir, what you need to do is you go to Nairobi, when the Infanya amendments in Nairobi, so that you can come in by using your names. I'm requesting the Senate, you empower the managers at the branch level, whereby they can have clearance levels more deeper in the system, where they can make those amends, because I know I'm not alone in that process. The other issue, because the fertilizer to Leona Nimbogu, to Leona Tukafungwa, Tukakuta, Ikonaio, Mbolea, Ambozi, Unangalia Ndani, so that one we are, we are, I don't want to go on much more because most farmers are made around you. The other bit which is very important, and I'm glad Mr. Madenga is here, uh, Barak. Uh, there's a big disconnect between the electorates for the farmers with the local leadership. Because when I found out about this, the first thing I did was to inform my MCA, Nayaka Nandia is going to get in touch either Minister for Agriculture uh, at the county level. And then again, told me he was to come back to me. Wakati niliona hiki tu inaenda, that's when we decided to take the matter in our own hands. So there's that disconnect. Not knowing if I go to Mwishimwa Madenge or my senator here, Mbana Murango, Kamu Mkunji, I don't know how they're going to react. So there's that big disconnect between now the electorate and the now the local government. He and he gave a message for Syria Bond, Niende fatheraisa, nikaende ya kwanza, ya kwanza ilikuwa mshuri, ilikuwa, ilikuwa hile ya 23-23, nukajukua, na hiyo niliona ilikuwa mshuri, arabu, nilichukua mifuko ine. Ya pili, niliende ya mifuko miwiri, nikaende ya mifuko miwiri, nikaangalia, nikifika nyumbani, nikaona, hii fatheraisa, ikona shinda. Kwe tumbere tunapandanga wakati wa kiangazi. Nilichanganya, nikapanda na mfuko mmonja. Hai, wengine wao wa tuakazi wakaniambia, epu mama angalia hiyo bataraisa. Nikajukua, nikaangalia na ndio hii. Bataraisa tukaona ikona, iko mbaya, ata mchanga iko. Nikaambia kwanza, kwa sababu tumechanganya pandeni, Tuwane vile sitakuwa. Hata maindi na marawe, sinakuwa ikiwa yerwish. Na sasa, nika, nikaenda kwa angrikacha, nini siku yenda kwa chief, nikaenda kwa angrikacha, nikaongea na faith, haka niambia kuna mamara niko mingi, ya watu wengi, ebune na uwege hiyo vataraisa, na hiyo haunja tumia uwe nayo. Uh, sababu nikuwe nimechanganya, nilibaki kidogo tu, Nika akaniambia siku ya leo kuna mkutano tukunje hapa tuongee na ma senate ili 
kutatisha hiyo hiyo mambo ya bataraisa na nikaambia ni asante kuna watu wengi kwetu riando tuko watu wengi ni vile tuliangua tukunje mtu mmoja awakilishe ni watu wengi wako na hiyo bataraisa wanamundigi unajua tukikuda riando tunapandanga mahindi wakati wa kiangasi na wakati wa kiangasi ndio kwetu me, kama mahindi inakuanga vizuri kwa e, ukipanda wakati wa kiangasi mvua inyeshe inakuta mahindi tayari iko chini na inafanya vizuri sasa sisi tumeshangaa na hii fertilizer ndipoza tulikunja hapa mtusaidie pana mondiki kama wewe tulikuchagua tulisema wewe nyewe utatatisa uta hii mambo kwa sababu tulilalamika na tukaenda na tuko wengi sasa si mimi naitwa Rasti Nyaga ama mbao metoka huko pale sa ndagaji sa production M county mimi ni message niliandikiwa nikaambiwa patraiza imekuja na nikaiona hiyo message alafu mimi nikaenda kwa serious board hapo embu nilikuwa nimeandikiwa mifuko 24 nilienda nikalipa nikapewa patraiza yangu nikaenda nikaiweka wiki mbili mfua ikanyesha mimi nilijua madaraza ni mbaya wakati nilikuwa naenda kupanda nilikuwa nimeita watu wa kazi twende tukapande kwa shamba. Kufungua madaraza nikakuta sio madaraza ni mawe mawe na manyua imeweka huko ya buzi. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa madaraza. Sasa mimi nilichukua dua nikaenda kwa chief nikapiga ripoti nikamwambia kuja angalia madaraza na kuhakikisha hiyo madaraza ilikuwa madaraza ilikuwa hiyo takataka ilikuwa imeweka huko kwa mangonia nikarudi tena nikaenda hapo kwa serious board nikawaambia patraiza yangu sio mzuri wakaniambia hawana kitu ya kusema kama tulichukua patraiza hiyo imetosha twende kwa mashamba tukarime si mimi nikafika mwisho hapo ndio nilita watu wa Wemwaro wakakuja kwa kwa nyumba wakaangalia patraiza ndio sasa tukaongea kama vile tunaongea siku ya leo sasa wakaniambia watafuatilia na hiyo kitu iliendea ilitambaa ili, ili, ili sana juu nilipigua watu na watu wa county nikapigua na watu wa CID wakaniambia hata nilipoti kwa polisi lakini mimi siku ripoti juu nilishindwa sasa nitaenda wapi na patraiza nilikuwa nayo sasa ile kitu mimi ningeomba hapa watu wa serious wanatuzungua sio ni watu wa serious ama ni serikali pesa tuliwafea Majaba tulikuwa tumepanga vile tutapanda mvua ilinyesha hatukupanda hatukupata fertilizer sasa ile kitu tunataka sisi ni watulizia fertilizer tupande ama watulizie pesa